Max War is three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of five wins and two losses. He stands 172 centimeters tall and weighs already 65.55 kilograms. Representing Hybrid Training Center and fighting out of Porto, Portugal, by way of Brazil. Please welcome Rafael Apocalypse. Hussein! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 10 wins and two losses. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs already 66.2 kilograms. Representing Scorpion MMA team and fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine. Give it up for Omar Scorpion Salamanov. Your referee is Peter Yarash. Starts with a glove touch once again. Beautiful sportsmanship, and then Solomonov is on a tear. Solomonov on a free to stand. Well, if you are coming off eight wins by a KO or TKO, you're going to be confident in your hands. That lone submission win coming by a first round heel hook back in September of 2018. So he may just have that in his arsenal. If plan A, B, C, and D doesn't work, he may go to plan heel. Brave Nation, Muay Thai, as it is practiced in Thailand, typically, characteristically, has a, just a feeling out in the first round. Not too much goes on. I do think that what we may be seeing here is Solomonov taking advantage of somebody who's used to starting a little bit slower. Trying to go for the trip takedown to Solomonov, gets it, lands beautifully in the side control. The BJJ Brown Belt Hudson does well to reclaim half guard. Again, this is a good position for Solomonov. If he can solidify this position and land some nasty ground and point. There's elbows elbow here. Coming. Needs to just be aware of the hips of Hudson. The former Muay Thai world champion does have three wins via submission, an arm triangle, a bravo choke, and an anaconda choke, so likes to get a hold of the neck. Although his last win by submission came in April 2017. Nice work from Solomonov, switching between side control and scarf, trying to sync up a, a crucifix position. Knee on belly, may slide through into the mount. Beautiful regard from Hudson. It's not the end just yet for Apocalypse. That's wordplay, Kerrick. Nice work to slide through into Mount again. Great finds the legs. Beautiful positional control here from Solomonov. Solomonov's feet went from being crossed, went from grape finding. Oh. Now they're floating. Beautiful regard again. Hudson doing a great job of getting those butterfly hooks in. Ladies and gentlemen, Brave Nation, Hudson does not, this is not where he wants to be. He wants to be standing, throwing head kicks. Heavy sprawl here. Needs to be wary of the potential Bravo or Anaconda choke here from Solomonov. Looks like he may be trying to slowly cinch up an Anaconda choke. If he slides that arm right through and the hand goes underneath the armpit of Hudson. Abandons it and is happy just to continue that positional dominance that we've been seeing. Hutsun, very smart, brown belt in jiu-jitsu. He, he felt that potentially coming and he kept his eyes looking forward. If you look down, boop, fight's over. Look straight forward, you're okay, but... Big shot from Solomon on top. Back take attempt here from Solomonov. Dajistani handcuff. A oh, beautiful shot. May look to try and sneak a hook in here. And these are big shots being landed by Solomonov. Like you said earlier in, a, in another fight, you may not be able to tell when you're sitting at home, but these shots are landing heavy. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm for Kimura. Solomonov abandons it. And he's just relentless. Good job from Woodson to get back. 
to the feet. Has to break that grip. If those hands come apart, it is a huge moment for him. It means he's finally up where he wants to be. Head on triangle attempt here from Solomonov. What a feather in his cap that would be. Good defense from Hudson. It's just such beautiful textbook guard retention from Hudson. I like the Solomonov doesn't really rest in a position for too long. He's always trying to advance. He's always trying to make something happen. That's it. Rear naked choke. Oh, that's it. It's tight. Oh, momentarily, that looked that looked like it was tight. That did look like it was underneath the the chin. Solomonov not resting on it whatsoever. Big takedown. And look. another stand up from Hudson. Little bit of frustration creeping into the face of Hudson here. Omar Solomonov, the man from Scorpion MMA, proving that there is very much a sting in the tail of this fight. Almost like he's trying to punch his way through into that rear naked choke carry. I'm very impressed as well by Solomonov's. It's a very, it's not a tight waist, it's a loose waist, but it's very effective for him. Great. Absolutely fantastic ground for Omar, yeah, Scorpion, right. Solomonov. Really showed it. The, the, the full expanse of his MMA game there, was able to strike Lambic shots, showed just how good he is on the ground too. For a man that only has one submission on his ledger, showed fantastic submission awareness, but he is, as we saw in the opening graphic, a multiple-time Ukrainian regional grappling champion under the ADCC skill set. Phil, the volume of those shots was, was such that I would not be stunned if a judge gave that a 10-8 round. It was very, very one-sided. Interesting. There were no big shots, but there was a high, high volume of shots, and a large number of them did land with significant impact. We are at a minimum at 10-9 right now in this fight. Solomonov is bound to be high on confidence. He hasn't lost since May of 2014. Getting another little Green Hill replay of the phenomenal action. The phenomenal attacks from Omar, Scorpion, Solomonov. Down, slammed to the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, that hurts. That's being hit with the planet Earth. Big question, of course, is how round two is going to play out. Is Rafael, Apocalypse, Hudson going to be able to keep this fight on his feet? If he wants to, he's going to have to do it with some circular movement. That is not a major part of the Muay Thai game. And there he is. He's starting to circle. That's what he needs to do. Stay in the outside a little bit. Don't stop moving. Solomonov trying to pop off shots right from the get-go. And, and interestingly, though, it's Solomonov who's leading the striking battle. Sharing a little bit of joke, a little bit of a joke in there in the midst of battle, able to take a little bit of a reprieve. Bill Hudson's back is too close to that fence. He need, there he goes. Needs to make a little bit more room. Putting absolutely everything into those shots to Solomonov. That second one would have been a fighter under Phil. Solomonov has to be careful of just not chasing. Puts in too much. A veteran with his striking ability could be trying to set something up. <laughs> Another huge shot. Very slick setup, a little bit of hand fighting. Touch a lead hand, touch a lead hand. Come in with a big shot. He probably won't try it again because it was so successful until a later round. Solomonov is really searching for that knockout shot. It's like. He's on some sort of a promise here. If he scores the knockout, he gets a bonus or something. Oh! Stephen Jab put him on the ground. Big shots are starting to land, Phil. Hudson still managing to roll the punches. Solomonov needs to posture up and land big strikes. Now take advantage of the shots that he's already landed. Trying to slide that foot through into side control. Good job by Hudson trying to retain. Hudson did a good job. He had a tight overhook, popped his hips back. Started that stand-up process, but it was overcome by Solomonov. Nice light grip here from Solomonov around the waist. And again, you can hear those shots just with these tiny four-ounce gloves. 
careering into the head of Hudson. Oh, the grabs. Trying to set up the head on triangle again. There's a choke again. And he has got right to the side. It's not that far away, Phil. That's a good gun shoot squeeze. Far away, Phil. And he add to the. Well, that's the top. That's it. Omar. Fight is over. Omar Solomonov with an absolutely huge win. Only the second win by a submission in his career. He pretty much dominated the fight from bell to bell there, Kerry. Scorpion by submission. He tried the exact same submission earlier in the fight. He was unsuccessful and he learned what his opponent was going to do. Roll in, then roll out. And this time he had a counter for it. There was nowhere to go. No option but to tap or nap. I, Kerry, we may very well have a new contender in the featherweight Brave Nation, we're seconds away from it being official. All right, Brave Nation, another incredible war inside the Brave CF cage tonight. This one comes to an end at two minutes and 12 seconds of the second round. Your winner by head arm triangle, Omar Scorpion. So long.